The following video demonstrates Genesis Topology for ANSYS Mechanical, GTAM, which is an integrated extension that adds topology optimization to the ANSYS environment. Designers will benefit by automatically generating innovative designs in a reliable, robust, and easy-to-use interface. Topology optimization finds the optimal distribution of a specified amount of material in a given space based on all applied loading conditions. Material will be removed from the topology region so that the remaining elements provide the stiffest structure possible for a specified total mass. The topology results thus provide a conceptual design that emphasizes efficient load paths. GTAM supports different analysis systems and multiple loading conditions. GTAM has several built-in responses for design objectives and constraints, such as strain energies, frequencies, mass, displacement, etc. GTAM also has built-in manufacturing constraints for the designable region, such as symmetries, casting, extrusions. And best of all, for the ANSYS user, GTAM provides seamless integration with ANSYS. No knowledge of the Genesis data format is needed. Let's set up a demo problem in Workbench. A static structural solution has already been set up as shown. The Genesis extension can be installed and then switched on as shown. Genesis now shows up in the Workbench toolbox. Now we'll switch over to ANSYS Mechanical to visualize the model. Mechanical now shows that the Genesis Structural Optimization Toolbar has been added by the GTAM extension. This model has two solid bodies that are connected via a frictionless contact. There are two static load cases with fixed supports on both ends of the smaller horizontal body. Forces push the larger body up in one load case and down in the other. Our goal is to design the two bodies to be as stiff as possible if only 20% of the mass is used. By switching back over to Workbench, we can bring the Genesis extension into our Workbench simulation so that it shares the existing model information. The ANSYS Mechanical project tree now shows we can set up the topology optimization problem. We shall perform three steps to set it up. First, we'll define the topology region. Second, we'll define the topology objective. And third, we'll define the topology constraints. We shall select both bodies for the topology region. We will also select an initial mass fraction of 0.2 to start the optimization. We do not need any fabrication constraints for this model, but they could be selected here if desired. Now we will define the topology design objective. We will choose strain energy as the response type to minimize. The strain energy will be minimized for both load cases. Now we will define the topology design constraints. For this case, we want to set an upper bound on the mass fraction to not exceed 0.2. Now that we've finished setting up the topology problem, we can now run the Genesis solution.
While the solution is running, we may view the solver output, which shows the optimization design iterations. Now we may view the topology density and isodensity results by adding them to the project tree and evaluating all results. When this is running, the mechanical is importing the genesis output. The element density plot for the last design cycle shows that the red elements are the ones to keep and the blue elements are the ones to discard. Looking at the topology isodensity results, we may recap. Starting with the two solid bodies and their static load cases, topology optimization shows a way to distribute 20% of the material that produces the stiffest structure possible to react those loads. This plot shows that a lightweight truss structure design has been suggested by GTAM optimization. The plot also shows that the design geometry is symmetric. This is because the initial topology region, the applied loads, and the boundary conditions are all symmetric. If this wasn't the case, then users can define manufacturing constraints that would enforce symmetry. As a final step, we can export the isodensity geometry as either STL or IGIS files that can be imported into CAD packages. This export tool automatically exports the last design cycle results. The level of detail of these files can be more or less refined. We shall now import the STL file we just created into Design Modeler to view it. Here is the STL file we just created. Now we will open Design Modeler and generate the geometry from the STL model. Designers can bring the GTAM results into their CAD projects this way to guide them in their optimized design projects.
One last item. The Help button on the Genesis toolbar will bring up the GTAM user's manual. The user manual will help explain in more detail most of the topology optimization items seen in this demo. The GTAM download comes with several self-guided tutorials to help get the first time user started. For more information on GTAM, please visit our website at www.vrand.com or email us at gtam.support at vrand.com.